What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Ghost Mysteries. Today I'm going to be talking about my advice for people who want to succeed as a haunted house actor. And from, from my own personal experience uh, working at haunted houses for three years um, in Las Vegas, Nevada, um, I've been pretty successful at it that um, I kind of thought that I would like go ahead and do a video on how to um, like how to succeed and all like um, as like scaring people and all because um, personally like that's one of my uh, personal hobbies as well as making videos and like good content for you guys and all. I, I at least try to make good content for you guys. Um, but anyway, um, so like, I would say like maybe five uh, different things or maybe just a couple of uh, pointers that I would give people um, is that um, like, at least uh, the first part would be that um, if you really want to go ahead and uh, like um, if you like if you really want to succeed um, in that like type of uh, field is that um, you should like um, try to make sure that like you have some good skills um, that that will be useful and uh like and like succeeding when it comes to like like scaring like for instance my my skills is that um i like to make sure that i can like really like get them and all like um like for instance whenever they come through uh like your room um you want to make sure that like you have a good way of really like making them jump and all like the like if you kind of get what uh where i'm coming from on that um like i'm not gonna be like um i'm not gonna go into too much uh, detail on that but um for instance like if uh like say if if you're uh work if you're working at hell's gate um haunted house in uh lockport uh illinois uh like i just know someone uh there like I know, I know an actor there that uh basically uh told me about that so I'm, I'm gonna like, kind of use them for an example so uh for instance like I heard like one of the best of scares there is like the uh the woods and all um and uh turn away from this uh if you haven't been there already and you don't want any spoilers, but, um, but anyway, if you haven't been there, uh, then go ahead and proceed with this, but, uh, this is kind of going to be, like, a spoiler for that, for one of the scares, like, the wood scare, so, uh, as he told me, um, like, if you, uh, like to like how he really gets uh someone is uh from uh being up high in one of the trees and kind of like uh hang like what hanging down from it and kind of scaring people that way so that's uh that's one of them um and uh like one of my uh, personal uh um one of my personal like suggestions like favorites that I usually do is like uh, I usually act like as, as a statue uh, like sitting down and like in a chair and all and kind of like uh, make people think that like that I'm like a mannequin statue and stuff and then I like get them like that which is like a, a cheap scare and all and then um, basically like if you uh, if you if you want to start off i would say i would kind of go ahead and do like uh i would start off at a lower level uh um 
like like haunted house um because i would say like what uh i would say like well hell is gay is one of the higher ups just like um not scary farm aka not Scary farm and uh i think california yeah but um basically like uh, I've been acting at uh, Asylum and Hotel Fear in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada for th three years, which I'm kind of planning on going back for my fourth year. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. Um, but yeah, like we have auditions like every September. So um, yeah. Uh, but like... Basically, I started off at, I, I started off doing um like some uh, easier scares and all, and um, basically like I w I would go ahead and like uh like if you if you really want to pursue this feel uh this like this field and all uh like if this is if your profession is like scaring people then I would uh go ahead and like uh audition for one that you want to do um just like at uh opportunity village in las vegas vegas fright nights uh like basically i uh i i started off as like um kind of like doing uh some easy stuff and all like for instance i like uh <laughs> i kind of like just jumping out at people kind of like uh like whenever they uh for instance, like there was a uh, clown room, uh, in um, oh, what is it? Uh, in uh, Con Invasion 3D at Opportunity Village, and um, another major uh, spoiler. Um, if if uh, <laughs> if um, you haven't been there, like please do not watch. Uh, please don't proceed with this, but uh. I kind of like um like to slide um like slide at the uh, guest and kind of scare them that way um but I'm kind of just uh saying those just to kind of help you guys out and for those that like kind of don't mind uh, clowns and all but yeah um there's that and uh yeah it's like not that's uh, one of the ways that I like this is one of the ways that I kind of like um get more experience with acting and all like I kind of started out at, at a young age I started out at like 17 years old and now I'm 20 and I'm still going at it but um this is just for uh those people that like this sort of stuff and want to go ahead and um pursue this type of, uh, stuff, um, and, uh, what kind of other advice would I give people, oh, yeah, um, if you're, uh, basically, like, if your character knows, um, like, um, if your character has any lines that they say, um, in their room, uh, in the, um, the attraction, the haunted house, then, uh, Make sure you always know your lines because if you don't know your lines, then uh, you're you're gonna kind of have like a hard time and all. Because one of my problems um, pursuing this type of stuff is that, uh, and it and it always happens. Like it's not a it's not a big deal. Like if it's just uh, like a, uh, like say a couple of times and all. But, um, always, like, always make sure you, you know them, because if you don't, then, uh, the guests are kind of gonna look at you like, does this person know what they're doing? Kind of, kind of something like that, and they're kind of, kind of look at you like you're crazy, uh, kind of laugh at you and all, which I personally, uh, don't, uh, don't really care, like, uh, well, I do care, but, like, I just kind of just proceed with it if I kind of mess the line up and all. Which I kind of do think like, oh, I, I kind of messed that line up. But when if you do kind of mess up on a line, just go right ahead with it. Don't even stop and uh, like, uh, don't like don't even let them know that you uh, messed up a line because like 
as 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 I learned, uh, like if if you uh, k- kind of like if you break out a character, like um, basically the haunted house that I work out, the whole thing is about uh, characters and all. Um, basically, if you guys look at, look on like lvhaunts.com, which where where I work where I worked for three years, um, where all the, basically the whole, uh, attraction is like, kind of like story based. That's just, uh, how it is. And this year will be like our 25 years of, uh, being around and all, but there, there was just that. And always, uh, like, and I said this in like one of my other videos, um, which is called like how to become a haunted house actor. Um, I'll, I'll make sure to always be there on time. Ma- make sure you're prepared for all of this, because if um, because if you're not prepared and you know, and if you like are not really confident enough, then this is not the type of stuff for you. Uh, just to put that one out there, and uh. Yeah, um, yeah, always make sure you, uh, know your lines, um, of course, always ask people for help, like, that's why we're always out there, like, for instance, I, I, I've trained, uh, people on this, and, uh, of course, people are not gonna want help, but, like, it's always nice enough to, like, uh, give them pointers and all, and, yeah, um, I, I think that's like, as far, as far as I have, but, um, uh, for, uh, you viewers out there, um, I'm, I'm gonna kind of like, uh, wrap this up, but if you guys have, uh, any more, uh, if you guys are kind of, uh, wondering anything else and have any questions, then I'll be happy to answer them, uh, down in the comments and uh if you haven't already make sure you subscribe like all of that um i'm trying to make it to like 100 subscribers or at least 50 but 100 is my goal i am already at 22 but yeah if you if you like this and uh want uh more videos like this then uh go ahead and let me know and until then see you guys on the ghost trail